everyone and welcome back to Cybrosis. Today we are diving into the world of Odoo 17 and exploring its powerful reporting features within the POS module. Have you ever felt like you're flying blind when it comes to your sales performance? Unsure what's selling well, what's gathering dust on the shelves or which day is bringing the most customers? Well, worry no more. Odoo 17 POS reporting is here to shed light on your sales data empowering you to make informed decisions and skyrocket your business. So now let's see what are the different reports which is available inside the POS. So I'm opening the point of sale. This is a point of sale module. Here we have the reporting section. So click on that and under that we have orders, sales details and session report. Okay. So first let's go to the orders. So you know what orders are. Right inside the POS also we have certain orders. It can be order for certain products. Okay. It can either be a shop or a restaurant or whatever the session we are creating. Orders inside that should be analyzed. Right. So that anal analysis can be viewed here under the order analysis. Okay. So here you can see the different product category. And under each product category you can see the total price. Okay. So the total price and different product categories are viewed here. Okay, so if you want to change the measure and if you want to see the margin or the product quantity, you can change it from that. Okay, so from the measures, it can actually easily be changed. So that's the, you know, order analysis. So that's the graphical view. You have the line chart and the pie chart of the same. Okay, so if you want to change the order to descending order, that is possible here. You can also view the ascending order. Okay, and this is the stacked view. You can change it if you are taking this line chart you have an option to view the cumulative view okay so that's the different charts which we have we have some other views as well so this is the pivot view of the very same thing so this is basically a table like view okay so here in the table you can add multiple measures at a time okay so i'm adding the sale line count and even i want if i if i want margin i can add that one as well and you can easily switch axis that is flip axis of the table okay and if you want to expand any of these you can expand that and also you have the option to download the excel sx file so that's the order analysis by easily analyzing this or just looking at the graph you will get the analysis of the orders okay next we have the sales details okay this is the sales details now if you enter the start date and end date Okay, that is if you specify an end date and start date, then you have the POS here. Okay, so based on this, you can print the sales detail. Okay, so specify the date and simply click on print. So this will be the invoice kind of, I mean, this is the layout of the document which you will get. Okay, so you can see the sales which have taken place and the, uh, you know, given period of time. Okay, so you can easily print it from there. And once the edits and all the paper format, the layout, background, everything is set, you can save it and the print will be taken. Okay, so that's how you can easily get the sales related report. Okay, so you can see the download has started and then from there you can or see the or sales report. Okay, next you have the session report. So if you want a report based on any particular session, Okay, you have this shop and restaurant and all. So inside each you have different sessions. Every time you will be starting a new session. So if you want the report of any specific session, you can choose the session here and click on print. Okay, so this will give you the report based on a session. Okay, so I'll show you how the report looks like. Okay, so before moving on, we have this graph view and pivot view for the very same thing okay so let me show you how the report looks like now let's take a look at the reports which we have taken right now so that has been downloaded okay let's wait and here we have the sales details which we have taken so this is the sales detail based on the session okay so you will get such a printout okay so for both you will get a printout like this you have one again here so this is actually the first one which we took, okay, of the different orders that is the different sales and the other one was based on the session, okay. So this is how the report looks like and it's really 
a very good feature because you can easily get report on the different sales or even the sessions which are taking place inside your POS. So that's the reporting session of POS. So that's all about the POS reporting in Odoo 17. I hope it's clear for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.